everyone. I thought we should take some time to learn how to set up MLA paper format in Microsoft Word. As you know, all of the papers that you have to turn in for this course have to be in Microsoft Word. And Microsoft Word, fortunately, is available for use on your home computer for free as long as you're a student here at CSN. All you have to do to find out how to get access to Microsoft Word for free while you're a student is call 702-651-7000. H-E-L-P. The fantastic folks at the help desk can tell you how to access Microsoft Word if you just give them a call. Okay, with that said, let's go ahead and look at what we need to do to set up MLA format in Microsoft Word. The first thing that you need to do is to open the ruler in Microsoft Word. Now, one of the things that you'll find as we go through this video is that you might have to look for the commands as to how to do things. This video is based on the edition of Microsoft Word that was available in 2018. If you're using an older version or a newer version, you might have to look for the commands. I'm sorry about that, but Microsoft Word really likes to move its commands around, as you know. Okay, so to open the ruler, at least in most of the versions of Word that I've worked with, you need to go to the View menu at the top of the screen and select Ruler. What this will do is it will open a ruler at the top of the document and that ruler is very important as you'll see as we begin working with formatting. It also opens a ruler along the side but that one really is not something that we need to be concerned with. Now by default Microsoft Word's documents are set up with margins that align with MLA format, so you shouldn't have to worry about the margins. The next thing you have to do is to select double spacing. To do that, you go to the Home tab and make sure that that's highlighted, and this is the type of information that you should see. And in what is currently the third section of those icons, you'll see two rows of icons. Okay. And among them, you will see one icon that has two arrows on the left in blue, one pointing up and one pointing down, and a smaller black arrow to the right. When you point to that icon, it should say line and paragraph spacing. Click on the black arrow and select 2.0 and that will select double spacing for your entire document. Okay, at that point you type in your name and once you've typed in your name, highlight it and in the set of icons on the home tab, go to the section that allows you to choose the font. When you point to it, you'll see a drop-down box that will say font. Click on the arrow pointing down, scroll down, and choose either Times or Times New Roman. Times New Roman is actually a little bit more standard and is probably what you'll find on your computer. I have a number of extra fonts installed on my computer. So select Times New Roman and make sure that the point size is 12, which I believe is the default point size 
in Microsoft Word. If not, just click to the arrow to the right and select 12. Once you've done that, put your cursor after your name and hit the return key one time. It will automatically double space. The next thing you need to put is my name. And you can use Deb Oki, Professor Oki, Professor Deb Oki, whatever you'd like as long as my name is there. That indication of my name is a requirement in MLA style. After you've typed in my name, hit the return key one time and type in your course and section number. For example, if you are in are taking English 100 and you're in section 1005, you would type in ENG 100.1005. Hit the return key one time again and type in the date. Now the date in MLA style is flipped so that it's day, then the abbreviated month, and then the year. So for example, you might have 25 FEB period 2018. Okay. okay. That's the name block. The next thing you need to do is add your title. And for the title for the paper in MLA style, you simply hit the return key once after the date, and you want to center the title. To do that, you go to that set of icons that is again the, in the one, two, third section over. In the second row down, the second icon over, when you point to it, you'll see that you get a drop-down box that says Center Text. Click on that. Then all you have to do is type in the title of your paper. You do not make it bold. You don't underline it. You don't put it in larger letters. You don't italicize it. You just type it in. Okay. That's what MLA style requires. Okay, now we're ready to start working on the body of our paper. And to do that, after you finish typing in your title, you hit the return key one time. To return your cursor to the left margin, you go to that same set of icons that we use to select center. And just to the left of it, when you point to that, you'll see a line left. The icon itself has straight lines on the left and the lines on the right go in and out. And it's the first icon in the group. That's the one you want. So you click on that, and that will take your cursor back to the left margin. Now, you want to end it, your paragraphs half an inch. And the best way to do that is not to hit the tab key or the space bar. The best way to do that is to use the ruler. And the way that you use the ruler is you go to the ruler itself and you'll see that there's one arrow pointing up and there's one arrow pointing down. That top arrow that points down is the one that will set the margin for indenting to the left. So you point your cursor to that top arrow and drag it to the half inch mark on the ruler. What this will do is it will cause Microsoft Word to automatically indent your paragraphs half an inch so you don't have to worry about it. So let's just type in some gibberish stuff to see how that works.
We come to the end of our paragraph and we hit the return key. And the paragraph is automatically indented. The reason that it's a good idea to learn to use the ruler is because when you use Microsoft Word to set up a bibliography, such as the Works Cited page required in MLA, it's much, much easier to do that using a ruler. Okay, now, as you know, in MLA format, if you have a direct quote, a word-for-word -word direct quote, that is four or more typed lines. It's formatted by indenting the entire quote half an inch, and you don't enclose it in quotation marks. So you need to know how to do that. And again, that's another reason that working with the ruler is a good idea. Let's say that you have come to a point in your paper where you want to have a direct quote of four or more type lines. You would, of course, introduce it by saying, according to Smith, if Smith is the source for the quote, with a colon. Then you would hit the return key at the end of the paragraph, go up to the ruler, and that bottom arrow that's pointing up on the ruler, if you hold down the shift key, you can use your mouse to move it so that it aligns directly underneath the, the top arrow. What that will do is that will indent every line in that paragraph half an inch. So you can type your quote of four or more type lines. And as you see, the entire quote is automatically being indented. in the page number for your citation and then after you've done that you simply hit the return key one time go up to the ruler hold down the shift key and drag that bottom arrow that's pointing up back to the left margin and then what will happen is only the first line of the next paragraph will be indented. Okay. okay, that's basically how you type up your paper. There are a few other things I need to show you, though. One thing is that MLA format requires that you include your last name and page number in the upper right corner. And I'll show you how to do that in Microsoft Word. What you need to do is go to Insert at the top of the document and click on that. You will get a set of icons, and you want to look for the one that says Page Number. Not Header, Page Number. And click on the little arrow pointing down to the right, and select page number. Now, for MLA format, you want to select that at the top of the page and alignment right. And you'll see the little page number appears there. And yes, you do want to show the number on the first page. Then click OK. And you will see that a number one appears in gray at the top of your page. You need to click in that area and put your cursor where the letter one is and click on it. And a box will appear and there, and there will also be gray shading on the letter one. Once you've done that, type in your last name. and a space. You then need to go up to the 
top of your document and select Home. Highlight the page number in your name. You need to go to the section where we selected the font before. Click on the arrow to the right that points down and select Time New Rome. Times New Roman out of the recent fonts list. Then, as you return to type your paper, and I'm just going to do some copy and pasting to save us a little time. And simply continue typing your text and as you see your last name and page number will automatically appear at the top in the right corner and that's the way you want to do it you don't want to just go in and type it in at the top of each page another thing I need to show you how to do is how to begin a new page because as you know the Works Cited page in MLA has to begin on a new page. It's really very simple. All you need to do is when you finish typing your paper, you again go to the Insert menu for at the top of your screen, and you find the command for Break and select Page Break. And that will give you a brand new page for your Works Cited page. Okay. I think that's the basics of what you need to know to set up MLA format in Microsoft Word. If you're in a composition course, I will include a video later to show you how to set up your Works Cited page. And if you're in a literature course, there is also information later on in the semester on how to set up a Works Cited page for that class. Thank you very much. I hope that this helped you understand how to do what you need to do. Of course, you know if you have any questions, I do want to help you. And all you need to do is drop me an email through Canvas. I'll do everything I can to help clarify. Also, if you're really having problems, you can go to a writing center on any of the CSN campuses. The folks at the writing center are very expert at setting up MLA format in Microsoft Word, and they can help you and show you exactly what to do. So if you need somebody sitting beside you to give you hands-on help, that's a really good place to go to get it. But for most questions, of course, you know all you need to do is email me. Thank you so much for paying attention to this presentation and, and learning what it has to tell you. Have a fantastic day.